shall we start okay so uh, today we are going to learn what are data views how we can use data views okay so data views are actually tables database tables which are stored at the back end okay which stores uh, subscriber specific account and account specific data you can query these data tables which are stored at the back end and extract data from the back end okay so in marketing cloud we have some 25 data views okay uh, we are gonna query sent data view today which is underscore sent sent data views sent data view table has these attributes okay account id oyb account id job id list id batch id and all that okay so uh, if you have even one of these attribute you can get the remaining attributes okay let's say if i have the job id okay i have the job id of an email sent i need to know to which list the email was sent to the batch id and the subscriber ids of the subscriber who received that email okay so uh, i can just provide the job id there i'll have the rest of the details okay so you're going to create a query for this let's do it okay i'm going to create a query in the automation studio okay here is the SQL query okay we can name it okay now here we need to define we will, we, here we need to write the query Okay, I already have a job ID here. I sent an email. This is a job ID of that email sent. Let's just confirm the attribute again. Okay, it's job ID. Here it is. Okay, we need to provide the job ID here. Okay, looks good. So we have provided the job ID. It will get give us all the remaining data from for this job ID. Okay, which is available in this data view. Let's validate the query. Query looks perfect. We are going to move on to next step. We will select a targeted data extension. Targeted data extension must have, I have already created a data extension for this. Okay. The data that we will extract from that data view will get stored into this data extension that I have created. Okay. This data extension should have all the attributes, okay, which are available in this data view. Okay. So a uh, few of those can be in the label. Okay. So you can, as per the documentation, you can define the attributes here. Okay, I have already defined that. Let's just make all of the values nullable for a start because you don't know what values are mess missing in your account. Okay, some of the because uh, if it's a guided send, the data would not have the triggered send definition, so it should be nullable. Okay, it looks good. Let's just choose the data extension we have. Here is it. Okay, here's the data extension. We are gonna append the data into here, into this. Okay, looks perfect. We have the query ready. We are gonna run this now. Data view test. Okay, here is the data query that we have created. Okay, we are going to run this once. Okay, currently the data extension does not have any data. Okay, we have query. Okay, so now we should have all the relevant data for this job ID into this data extension. It will take a minute or two. Meanwhile, we can go into the tracking and look for this job ID okay let's look for the data extension currently do not have any data it takes time 
for the carry to run okay it's still running let's give it a minute Okay, uh, this is something interesting. Okay, we are not, we do not receive the data for this job ID because the job ID which I used is six is more than six months old. In data views, just stores the data for last six months. Okay, if a job ID is like let's say six before more than six months old, it will not give any data. That is the reason we are not receiving any data here. Let's just change the job ID and then see if it works. Okay. Because the data marketing cloud automatically deletes data which is more than six months old from the data views. Okay. This job ID was more than six months old. Now we are gonna do this again, and this time we should definitely get the data into the data extension. This is a recent job ID. Let's run it. let's give it a minute again okay you can see it worked we have the data in the data extension now we have the sent data we did provide the job id and all the relevant data for that email sent should be here. Here's the email that, it, that I sent. It was sent to 1000 audience. Okay. We have the data for this job ID. We have list ID, subscriber ID, subscriber key, domain, and event date. Okay. All the required data is here. Okay. Yep. Okay, if you have any question on this, please post them into comments. I would be more than happy to reply. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.